Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the meeting room of CCMA webinar on thyroid ablation, live case demonstration. I'm Dana from Nanjing Echo Microwave Company, China. And for those who don't know about Echo Microwave, we are a 22-year-old medical equipment manufacturer dedicated to R&D production and SaaS activities of microwave ablation system. And we've been working closely with ablation-related academic associations and experts across the globe to promote the ablation technology. As for CCMA, it's short for China Conference on Microwave Ablation, is an international platform for academic exchange and multi-party cooperation in the ablation field. So with the initiative of Echo Microwave experts at home and abroad, widely supported, formed and organized this international forum. So on behalf of CCMA and Echo Microwave Company, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. And we are, um, we are very, very lucky to uh, have a couple of experts here with us today to uh, go together with this webinar. So now, please allow me to introduce today's moderators. Uh, first, Professor Kim Wambe from Division of Endocrinology, Metabolism, Department of Internal Medicine, Asian Medical Center, University of Olsen, South Korea, as well as the President of Asia and Oceania Thyroid Association. Welcome, Professor Kim. Professor, you're muted. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for the kind introduction of me by Dana. I'm Prof. Won Be Kim from Korea. Uh, we have a special guest for this special webinar seminar. I'd like to introduce Professor Xiao Liu. He is currently Vice President of Affiliate Hospital of Integrated Traditional Chinese and Western Medicine with Nanjing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. He had served as chairman of the POC of Asia and Oceania Thyroid Association. And he also acting as chairman of the Youth Committee of Chinese Society Endocrinology and vice chairman of Endocrinology Committee of Integrated Traditional Chinese and Western Medicine of Chinese Medical Association. Also, he is a vice president of Endocrinology Professional Committee of the World Federation of Traditional Chinese Medicine. He has published more than 3,000 papers and edited 45 monographs. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for your introduction. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Liu. Thank you very much. And uh, we have another moderator, Dr. Iniaki Aguyas. He manages from endocrinology and nutrition department of San Espasas University Hospital, Spain, as well as the coordinator of the ultrasound imaging group of Spanish Endocrine Society. Welcome, Dr. Iniaki. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I, uh, I had the, the opportunity of, of meeting Dr. Xu in, in, in China a couple of years ago before the, the pandemic. And it's an, an honor for me uh, as endocrinologist to introduce him. Uh, Dr. Xu is an endocrinologist in, in the gene and he's an expert in, with large experience in, in, in thermal ablation techniques. Um, for for finish it uh, or for finish the, the introduction, if we try to simplify to simplify the reasons for treating uh, thyroid nodules, we could summarize in two main indications. One, uh, symptomatic nodules, <clears throat> which could be a cosmet for co symptomatic or for cosmetic reason or for functional reason, and the other one are malignant or, sus or suspicious nodules. And I'm pretty sure that Dr. Shu is showing us uh, with two examples in uh, how to do it in, in, in an excellent presentation. So thank you so much. Go ahead, Dr. Shu. Uh, 